Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Thursday the 17th of May. Okay, so uh, where are we here then? Uh, well, uh, Euro dollar continued its sell off yesterday. Today seems to be a bit more of it, maybe an in, in, inside bar at the moment for sure. Um, where are we going to go from here? The divergence still stands, that I said about that on the daily yesterday, and I did warn that that, day, that divergence could still stand another day or so if we continue going down. So um, it doesn't mean to say it's a obvious reversal, but uh, it is sitting there now. Um, looking down the time frames to the four hourly, the divergence into yesterday's low as well. Uh, so there's certainly divergence. We had a bounce off that now, and it's almost almost worked off the effect. It worked it off effectively on the four hourly bar. Uh, but still got potential. Um, obviously, trend-wise, it's still got lower highs coming through, lower lows. It's consolidated at the moment and unclear in terms of absolute direction this morning. My preference would still, of course, be down towards yesterday's lows in the S1. Um, if we see some s a decent setup this morning, it may be just sitting on the hands job. Um, couldn't trade it yesterday morning. I struggled. Uh, to see and it never got back as far as I liked it, it would have liked it to. Um, maybe a, a similar case today, so just a bit of patience at the moment. Um, of course, it could reverse and continue to the upside. Uh, certainly a possibility, but need a bit more clarity. Uh, maybe the shorter term frames. In fact, I'm just going to come down unusually uh, down to the short time frame here and look at what may happen here. And well, even that's not really giving me a lot of clues, but. Uh, no, it's not really. <laughs> um, m maybe um, we'll we'll get something around about uh, eight o'clock after or just after. It's not really giving me a lot of clues there at all. Okay, cable. Uh, let's go look at the bigger picture first. And well, again yesterday it just stayed within range. It ended up in mildly positive day in the end. Um, oh, just hammer. Um, and uh, well, it's doing the opposite in the moment, so it's tight between this range. I mean, it can be traded during the range. We managed to do it yesterday, but uh, how long and how well it will do anything beyond that is another matter. It's uh, it, it, at some point it's going to break out, that's for sure. But uh, it looked like at one stage earlier in the week it was going to break to the upside. Um, it, it is tightening down on the uh, the the top side but not the bottom side it's just possibly almost flattening out on the bottom side which may suggest we'll see a continuation to the downside however this morning's news that we may stay in the um, in the uh, Union um, European Union uh, for trade um, for uh, the customs union should I say uh, longer um, well it depends on what the, what 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 we see out this morning in terms of that, so it makes it well, if we see anything uh, t if we could, that comes through as being nonsense or whether they, they, we get a, some sort of co uh, government response. Anyway, dolly yen. So dolly yen. Well, yesterday I was expecting it to uh, potentially push up, and it, it finally got a little push in the afternoon there, didn't it? But it did take some time, and it's running up at the moment, continuing its upward. Um, I mean, it's the, the area of least resistance is the upside at the moment, in a sense. It has got arguably some divergence on this four hourlies. Um, I'd say arguably, it probably looks a lot clearer. Let's have a look on the MACD. Yep, there's even a bit of divergence on that MACD there. Um, however, uh, we'll see how it runs. It's uh, It's still got potential further upside, but this morning well we had a bit of a shot up there at seven o'clock well maybe we'll see how if it uh, can pitch back back down again uh, certainly yesterday didn't uh, come to much at all did it okay um, dolly yen struggling but potential Aussie dollar Aussie dollar well ended up on a bullish day it was the most bullish of the pairings against the uh, US dollar there it uh, just carried on going through and it's been more bullish than anything else maybe um, going to get proven wrong in the end and it's going to uh, carry on however I'm looking at this uh, well, it's a 30 minute chart I'm just going to change this to a 60 minute chart it's uh, 
just tighten it up a little bit so we can see a little bit more and I'm just sort of looking at this trend line that's sitting across the you guessed it across the lows here and I'm thinking well if that starts breaking that's going to give us a lower high on this current movement and maybe a bigger correction maybe back to the daily pivot maybe more um, on that it, it just had a really good day yesterday it just outperformed yesterday uh, as I say it was one of the stronger pairings against the US dollar there okay so it's got potential to roll um, uh, but the the trend obviously in this uh, um, near term is uh, possibly uh, still to the upside well it is still to the upside there's no possibility about it what am I talking about for crikey okay and the Canadian dollar um, uh, Okay, daily pivot swing in yesterday. Again, looking like a bit of strength coming back through here. It also did reasonably well. Struggling around this pivotal area of the monthly pivot, funny enough. Um, it's uh, well, close, it did close. Had some closes below it, but it's not managed to really capitalize on it. Every time it closes below it, pretty much next bar or two or three gets back in. Actually, it's a bit more than that there prove me wrong but it does um, oof, doesn't look the clearest here I've uh, got the daily pivot above which may be a draw it's bouncing off its S1 here um, it doesn't look totally convincing I do need to flick across and look at oil at a stage uh, on another chart that's still sitting at 71.66 come off a little bit um, uh, this morning but uh, it's still it's still holding holding its own as they say it uh, pushed up well yesterday in the end back in, back into the walls at 72 mark but um, well we'll see today we have got um, we have got he says uh, we accrued all inventories yesterday which caused a bit of spikiness in the markets in the afternoon yesterday on the oil price but uh, created a little bit of upside but today yeah, very little to uh, do too much about. Um, 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 yeah. So uh, not a lot there to uh, create anything for the Canadian dollar. Um, foreign security purchases at 1.30 p.m. Yeah, that's not a big mover. So um, as I say, I think it may have the potential for a move back in towards that daily pivot. Will I be trading it? Probably not. Um, not this time in the morning anyway. Uh, it may be safer trades to get back into the Canadian dollar if you think it's going to run to the upside. There is the risk with the oil situation that it could just roll over and uh, on that basis I mute as they say or as Ballantyne used to say in Dragon's Den. So that's it for me for today. Um, there's uh, little in the way in news today of any significance whatsoever. It's, uh, it's a flat down news. Have a great one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.